Morning everyone, Angus here. I just wanted to make a very quick video on how easy it is to use um, TradingView to buy and sell shares. Um, the broker that I use is TradeStation, not for any good reason, but it's basically the only broker that, broker that allows Australians to buy and sell stocks online um, through TradingView. Um, if you live in the US, there's a couple of different options available to you, but um, TradeStation is the one that I use and you know, it seems to work quite well. Um, I won't go into the reasons why I'm looking at this particular stock, but you know the very very short short version is that you know the um, the RSI is pointing up. It's still at a value area. There's still buyers moving into the stock. It's gone through a bit of a compression. You can see you know a little bit of a pullback to some extent. Looks like it might be running again. It's had a bit of a Bollinger Band breakout. Um, but I've got a whole video around how I find these sort of stocks and how I trade them. So you know look at that on uh, on um, YouTube if you want to you know get more um, understanding of how I pick and do things with stocks um, but anyway all you do is you literally right click go trade create new order you can do a market limit stop or stop limit order um, I'm going to do a market order because people have asked to see you know what the ex execution speed is um, I know that I've got a balance of $641.53 and so I'm just going to try and guess how many stocks it is. I could use a calculator and divide it, of course, but I've got a 25, then add 5, then add 5, uh, then add 5. So that's 7.10, so that's too many. So I know, let's go down to, say, 39. Uh, 39 is 6.75, so that's still too many. So let's go 35. 6.06, so I can have more than that. So 37, let's say. Is 641.21, so that's pretty close. So I'm going to go stop loss. Um, I'm going to have, let's say, about a, I'll now make it a 7% stop loss. You can see that the stock will sell at $16.12. And if I'm away from my um, computer, and let's say this thing rockets, um, you know, then I'll put a I'll put a take profit in. Um, you can basically just take off the take profit. You don't have to use a take profit, but you know they can be kind of handy. And so then I'm just going to go and click buy 37. Everything looks okay. Uh, click and send order. And so you can see that it's executed immediately. You know, it's a, it's a very, it's, you know, it doesn't seem to be any lag as far as I can tell. So I'm just going to close this. You can see here what it said is it's saying um, you've basically got 37 um, of Q at an average price of $17.33, which is roughly what it is over here. Um, the stock price is $16.12. The take profit is at $20.79. Um, the last price it was at $17.13. So at the moment, my profit and loss is, you know, basically the same. You know, I haven't made any money, haven't lost any money. Um, and then the things that I like, though, is if you have a look up here, you can see on the chart now, it's got all the information. Um, I'm just going to stretch it out a bit. But you can see here that my stop loss is set just about here, which is good, you know, just below the bottom of that wick. Um, you can see that my buy price, it tells me here that's where I bought it at. Um, and you can see my take profit is here. And you can actually drag these around. So if I wanted to move my stop loss, I'm just going to, hopefully it works. So you can see how I've just dragged down a little bit and see how I can then click modify and it would have updated where my stop loss is. Um, likewise, I can drag my take, take profit around and um, it's a really good, super simple system. So um, I just thought I'd try and share that with you and um, hopefully that answers some of the questions that some of the other people um, might have had just in terms of you know how quick is the execution speed and things like that. Anyway, that's my actually short video. Thank you.